TED-MED tradition and also sometimes at TED to share some of the treasures of the library of, hist of the history of human imagination. But the first treasure I'm going to share is a modern treasure. Typically, I share things from hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and I'm going to do that later on during the program. But today, we're going to talk about something very unusual. Today, we're going to talk about three great moments in the history of imagination. The first two you know well. The last one you don't know so well. So let's take a look at the first one. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. So we all know that one. And at the Kennedy Center, it's certainly appropriate. It's eight years later. Let's roll the clip. Over the surface of the moon, in the command module, looking for a place to land, are Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. They are at the final part of their descent. And they're traveling over the surface of the moon. And there's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. They are running out of fuel. In fact, they've already had four alarms go off for a malfunctioning computer. And things are going poorly as Aldrin looks out the window and sees boulders everywhere. And Armstrong says, we need to find a place to land. We have literally almost no fuel. We're in the emergency reserve. They're looking for a place to land. So the men here at Mission Control are sitting in this room, and they realize that the men who are trying to land on the moon have no place to land. And they're sitting in this room, and they're starting to freak out. <laughs> they're worried beyond your wildest dreams. So the head of Mission Control says the following thing. Hey, the only call out from now on will be yours. So what he's just said, you can barely understand, is he says, no more call outs. Don't talk to these guys. Nobody talk except about fuel. And then you hear the first call out. 60, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. They have 60 seconds of fuel. The boulders are everywhere. OK, they're sitting there. They're holding their breath. 30 seconds of fuel. Now the guys in mission control are sitting there, and they're going, are these guys going to make it? Now Aldrin and Armstrong are obviously beyond crazed figuring out where they're going to land or crash, if you will, with a billion people listening in. And now we hear the second most famous phrase. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. So imagine the moment. They're in Houston, and they've just heard that the astronauts have landed on the moon with less than 20 seconds of fuel remaining. 20 seconds. Now, we all know the famous line that we just heard of the first words from the moon to the Earth. But how many of you know the first words from the Earth to the moon? Because they turn out to be medical words. They're about health and medicine. Let's listen to the first words from the Earth to the moon. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Let's put the words on the screen. What he says is, you've got a, Roger, Tranquility Base, we copy you to the ground. You've got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Breathing, the most essential life process. These people had stopped breathing. Now, what's the artifact? Well, the artifact is an extraordinary artifact. Because while the astronauts were on trying to find a place on the moon, they were wired for telemetry. This is the, as if Columbus were wired for telemetry. The camera shows you here, this is the EKG the original EKG of the astronauts trying to find a place to land on the moon. Okay. This is Buzz Aldrin's heart rate. It's a bit accelerated, if you might notice. Okay. And this line here is where they land on the moon. I'm wondering what this is. I went and chatted with a cardiologist, and he said, oh, you really don't want to know what that is. Okay. And this is signed by Aldrin, Armstrong, and Collins, the three men who took the first mission to the moon. So here you look at an extraordinary artifact. In a 1,000 years, this will still be an amazing artifact, because we saw at the moment men landed on the moon, we were monitoring their vital signs back on the Earth, which is something we will all be doing as a matter of course in just a few years for all of us and our loved ones. I'll be back to share more later. Thank you. <laughs>